Hi everybody, it's Miss Ann from Epworth. I am here to do tonight's um, science experiment called Will It Float? based upon God's basket of hope. So what we're doing today is using water and objects found around your house. Please be careful with water since you'll have computers and or cell phones around and you don't want to destroy them and see them short circuit. So you're going to pick five objects and tonight I have a cotton ball, an alligator, a basket like in the story with Moses, an earplug, and one more item. Let's see. How about this little Playmobil life vest? And we'll see if this can help float or not. It's a plastic life vest. All right. So we have the five items, and now we need to predict if they will float or not. So do you think the alligator will float? Yes or no? They swim, but I'm thinking he will displace too much water and not be able to float. So let's see. Oh, he is floating. My prediction was wrong, and that's okay. That's part of learning. All right, our next item, we'll take him out. Okay. Will be our cotton ball. What do you predict? I'm going to predict yes, but let's see. Whoa, can you see it? It sunk. Even though it's light and airy, it still doesn't always float. Let's take it out, squeeze any excess water out. Next we'll try the earplug. I predict this will float. What do you think? And it does float. Still on top. Okay, that's three items. I'm gonna try the life vest, that'll be number four. Okay, plastic life vest. Life vests normally float in real life because of the amount of air in them holding up. But this is plastic, so I'm gonna say it sinks, let's see. And right to the bottom it went. At the bottom. Lastly, I'm gonna try a basket, like the basket that Moses was in. But we wanna be just like in the Bible story and we wanna make sure we have something to cover it, like the tar that was used. So I have some of the cling wrap. You could use aluminum foil. You could use regular plastic wrap. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my basket. That'll prevent the water from seeping into it. So I'll have air inside of it to help stay buoyant. Try and wrap it well. Don't want any water to get in. My goal is to float. So let's see, dropping it in, and it does float. I'm going to take it out and add the baby and see if that helps to have it still float or to sink. Here's our little baby. I'll be gentle and we won't drop this one since there is a baby in it and we'll try and see what happens. And it still floats. It is tilted, it's not even. But there you go. We were able to predict what sank and what did not. Thanks guys, try it at home on your own. Bye-bye.